to Chapter 7, Lesson 4, Physical Science, Tolbert's class. Some units of energy that are appropriate for everyday use are the kilowatt hour, the food calorie, and the British thermal unit. Now, this particular slide shows you those particular uh, different ways that we use those particular activities and how many kilowatt hours joules and what it would be in gallons of gas. For instance, to climb a flight of stairs is 0 0.017 kilowatt hours and 0 0.0005 gallons of gas. Um, or on the other hand, well, all the way down at the bottom, to drive 30 miles to the mall and back in a large SUV is about uh, 72 kilowatt hours. And it takes about mm, two gallons of gas. So in this time and age when people are trying to conserve, you definitely want to be driving the car that uh, takes less gas to get back and forth to the mall. Gravitational potential energy. Potential energy that is dependent on height is called gravitational potential energy. Potential energy, as you already know, energy that is stored due to being stretched or compressed is also called elastic potential energy. Gravitational potential energy. A waterfall, a suspension bridge, and a falling snowflake all have gravitational potential energy because they are all above the ground, some distance or height measured in meters. If you stand on a three meter diving board, you have three times the gra gravitational potential energy than you had on a one meter diving board. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's not just a saying, it's actually true. Objects with more mass have greater gravitational potential energy. The formula we find is equals in joules the weight times the height times acceleration due to gravity. Solving problems. A two kilogram car moving at the speed of two meters per second uphill. How high does the car roll before it stops? Here's what we're looking for. We're looking for the height of the hill. Here are some of the things that are given. You're giving the mass in kilograms and the velocity in meters per second. And you have two kilograms and two meters per second. The actual um, formulas that you're going to use is going to be one half mass times the velocity squared. That's the kinetic energy formula. Or the potential energy formula, which is the mass times acceleration due to gravity times the height. Here's your solutions. First, if you plug and chug the numbers here, you simply put in your given as two kilograms and your velocity there, and it gives you so many joules. Assuming energy before equals to energy after, or your kinetic energy is going to be equal to your potential energy. Then you have your formula for gravitational potential energy, and all you need to do is plug in that formula. Mass times acceleration due to gravity times your height. My mass was the 4 newton meters times the uh, 2 kilograms times the 9.8 gives you 0.2. That's your solution. You should have written that on your guided notes. Now you're ready to go and do the uh, lesson floor clicker or click number four on Schoology. Thank you for your time.